we have a function g of x which is equals to minus 4 over x plus p plus q there we go and then we're given the axis of symmetry y is equals to x plus 1 and y is equals to minus x plus 3 we're supposed to find the value of p and the value of q well we're supposed to show that p is equals to minus 1 and the q is equals to 2. so there's some basics that you need to recall in order to answer these questions these lines of axis of symmetry they touch at a point where we have minus p as the x coordinate and q as the y coordinate so in order to find this minus p we can just equate these axis of symmetry we're gonna have x plus one being equals to minus x plus three so two x is equals to two x is equals to one we're dividing by two on both sides but what are we saying we are saying that when at minus p that's where these two lines touch so let's take a look we're gonna have minus p being equals to one because when x is equals to minus p that's where they touch so clearly p should be equals to minus one so there we go we have the value of p and then the value of q we can just substitute into one of the axes of symmetry if we substitute on x plus one we have one plus one which is equal to two and then on the other equation we get the same thing we get minus you know minus p so we're gonna get minus one plus three and this is equal to two so there we go the value of p is minus one and the value of q is two so now we know that g of x is equal to minus 4 divided by let's take a look x minus 1 plus 2 let's take a look at the equation that follows 4.2 we're supposed to calculate the x intercept of g so x intercept we let y be equals to 0 we're going to get 0 being equals to minus 4 divided by x minus 1 plus 2 if we take 2 to the left hand side we get minus 2 is equals to minus 4 divided by x minus 1 let's cross multiply we're gonna get minus 2x plus 2 is equals to minus 4 so minus 2x will be equals to minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 will give us minus 6 and then we divide both sides by minus 2 so x is going to be equal to 3 so there we go that is the x intercept right and then 4.3 we're supposed to sketch the graph of g and show the asymptotes and the intercepts okay let's gather our variables and sketch therefore so x intercept we know the coordinates x is 3 and y is 0 but what about the y intercept what about the y intercept let's take a look if we were to substitute 0 there we would get minus 4 divided by minus 1 which is 4 plus 2 is 6 so y intercept we have 6 and 0 now we just need the asymptotes well we know that q is equal to 2 so uh, our vertical not our vertical but our horizontal asymptote y is equals to 2 and then what about the vertical asymptote x cannot be equals to 1 we can clearly see that x cannot be equals to 1 because we're going to have 0 which gives us undefined so x is equals to 1 is our vertical asymptote now we can sketch we need our axis so the y axis and the x-axis there we go and then um this is the y and this is the x we need our asymptotes uh we have an asymptote x is equal to one so right here we have an asymptote so there we go and then another one x is equal to two so somewhere here we have an asymptote and then we just need to 
place our intercepts now we have an intercept when x is equal to 3 so if this is 1 then 3 should be somewhere here so there we have our intercept not a symptom and then when y is equal to 6 here we have another intercept so how is our graph gonna look like something like this right and then there we go i think we're good to go here um yeah we have the sketch of g 4.4 4.4 for which values of x is your for x greater than zero okay let's take a look so here we have x is equal to one right uh when x is less than one g of x is greater than zero we can clearly see that from the sketch here g of x is greater than zero when x is less than one and then when x is greater than one well from here up to x is equal to three g of x is equals to zero or less than zero but when x is greater than three x greater than 3 so from this point up to infinity clearly g of x will be greater than 0 so there we go